We begin with a prayer and we end with a prayer. So friends and relatives, if you would please bear with me as I lead us in prayer on this beautiful morning. Our dear, most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day. Asking you to be with all those that made this possible today. It's your mind though, I ask you to be with the Don Kuto family, all those family members that, that made their way over here to witness and experience this beautiful occasion. Creator God, I ask you to, to bless those dignitaries representing the French government that made their way over here to present this medal. Dearly Father God, I ask you to bless our veterans, those in the attendance and those that are in service. Creator God, I ask that you be with our, our Walker family today as they put our loved ones to rest. He played a big part in our tribe. I ask that you be with the family from the youngest to the oldest. Dearly Father God, I ask that you be with our second Fox Nation as we move forward the best way we know how. I ask that you be with our council. We pray for understanding and communication as they oversee all of our, our things that happen here at the tribe. I'm going to leave it a lot unsaid, but you know how I am in my mind and my heart, and I ask that you hear me. Get your mind out way, your boy we thought, Gina. Ki ma ma toma nipina. Ki ha temi hipina wina hiki ki. Pesak we did not know ni na ne. Ki wa we am nipina. Amen. Ni. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to turn it over here to our drum for our flag song. So if you would please stand in honor of these traditional eagle staffs and what they mean to our native people.
Thank you, gentlemen. Please remain standing as we turn it back over here to our singers for a memorial song. We say thank you to all of our veterans, men and women, and those who continue to serve for our safety and our freedom. We remember those that paid the ultimate sacrifice and never returned home. We pray for those that went on to the spirit world. Today, we look around. We have a lot of empty seats. As we sing this beautiful song, we remember those. Ooh. Thank you. At this time, we're going to turn it back over to our drum for our veteran song.
Thank you. You may be seated. You know, friends and relatives, we're here for a special occasion. In the history of our Sac and Fox Nation, during the 18th and 19th century, Sac warriors were known for their significant military force during battle. Many Algonquin tribes had close alliances with France in the early 18th century, from 1701 to 1800. The Sauk were originally allies of the French. Between 1775 and 1783, during the American Revolution, the Sauk sided with the British against the Americans. Our warriors were known as the hard to kill people. The second Fox warriors were noted for their bravery and battle techniques. We have a lot of veterans within our tribe, within Native America that served in the military. We hear of the code talkers that made things happen. We think about them today as well. As you look at our, our tribal flag that we started using back in September 30th, 1983, Mr. Frank Delano, he used the coat of arms symbols on the chest of the bird, representing the countries that our tribe allied with, which are France, Great Britain, Spain, and America. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to celebrate, to witness this beautiful award ceremony. Our tribal member, Don Juan Kuto, he and his brother Orville, they entered the military when they were teenagers, listed in the US Army, went to World War II. Don was sent to a secret air base in England called Harrington Field. His unit was part of the fledgling U.S. Army Air Corps, officially the 801st, 492nd Bombardment Group. Their mission was to conduct espionage activities behind German lines throughout Europe. The operation was codenamed Carpetbaggers. Such missions were harrowing and demanded a high degree of skill and nerve from the crews. Don's boyhood hunting skills were very useful to his assigned tail gunner slot. He described himself from those days as having eyes like a cat. The carpetbaggers operated in several European countries, including Norway, Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany, and Switzerland. Most of the operations were conducted in France. Don Juan Couto received many ribbons and medals for his active service in World War II. Today, he is being recognized for his, for his ability and what he did in those days. He will be receiving the Legend of Honor Award. He will be awarded the rank of Chevlar Knight for his flawless performance of his trade as well as doing more than what is ordinarily expected. So at this time, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to turn it over to our chief, Mr. Justin Wood, for our welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Justin Wood. Good morning. I'm Justin Wood. I'm chief of the Sac and Fox Nation. I'm so grateful to be able to to spend time with you today. I uh, thank Joaquin for his uh, willingness to, to lead us uh, this morning. Our uh, people are a little weak this morning. We lost, uh, lost a great tribal member, Forrest Walker. And so uh, I want to take a moment again. I thank Joaquin for praying over that family, for the Walker family and for our people. I'll take another moment to uh, and I thank the, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the life of Forrest Walker and what he will mean to us uh, forever. And on our memorial here, we talk about our memory of our warriors. We're remembering our warrior today, Don Couteau. 
past, present, and future. What's great about memory is it doesn't have a past, a present, or a future. A memory lasts forever. It'll never be forgotten. This is another moment for us to not forget the Kuto legacy. I want to thank Donna for being here, for being willing to share this with our, all of her people, the entire Sac and Fox Nation across the world. So it is my distinct honor to welcome the Consul General of the French government, Alexi Andres. Welcome. Dear Chief Justin Wood, Monsieur le Consul Honoraire, dear Donna Couto, dear family and friends of Donna Couto, dear members of uh, the <laughs> Second Fox Nation, dear friends, first allow me to present you my condolences for the passing of uh, your respected tribe members and uh, thanks for having accepted that despite what your tradition would have uh, asked, you have uh, maintained this ceremony. I really appreciate it. It was very important for Donna and I to reach this point. Today, I have the honor to recognize the courage Don Couto displayed so many years ago on a land, my land, that was so foreign to him and yet for which he was prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. The history of the Legion of Honor stems back to 1802, after all French orders of chivalry were abolished during the French Revolution. Napoleon Bonaparte, who was then the first consul of the first French Republic, instituted a new order as a way to recognize merit, the National Order of the Legion of Honor. This was meant to reward civilians and soldiers who had achieved great things in the service of France. Since its creation, the award has remained the highest, most prestigious decoration in France, and it is given solely as a recognition of merit or bravery being open to men and women of all ranks and professions. A few years ago, friends decided to follow a more active policy of awarding this medal to the American veterans of World War II as one more symbol of our strong friendship that has endured for centuries. A friendship that was fought in Yorktown, Virginia, on American soil 245 years ago. A friendship that was renewed in the crucible of the trenches in the Meuse, Belleau Wood, and the Marne Valley during World War I. And once again, on the bloody beaches of Normandy or during the terrible winter of the Battle of the Bulge. An unbreakable friendship that has never disappointed nor been undermined. More than two centuries after France's engagement in America's Revolutionary War, this brotherhood between our countries endures. Side by side today, we are waging the difficult battle against radical Islamist terrorism. The quality of the cooperation between our armies has reached unprecedented levels. French Minister of Defense, Florence Parly, was in Washington, D.C. on July 9. Operationally, we share responsibilities for optimum effectiveness. In the Sahel, France is the leader, and it knows it can count on American support whenever necessary in the crucial areas of intelligence and logistics. In the Levant, France is a team member within the U.S.-led coalition. Even at this time of unprecedented crisis, our two countries never stop working together at addressing the challenges. 
and the French Minister for Foreign Affairs paid a visit to uh, his counterpart in Washington DC just on Bastille Day this year, on July 14th. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason for our gathering here is to remember Don Couto as a Chevalier de la Légion d'Honneur, Knight of the Legion of Honor. Knight. What a strange title in the 21st century. What does it mean to be a knight today? Ideas of horses and swords are very commonly associated with knights. But even if horses are quite common in Oklahoma, we don't see many knights in shining armor. Actually, I believe that being a knight refers to a very human concept, a concept that has remained untouched for centuries. Receiving the title of knight means that you have demonstrated virtue, bravery, and strong commitment to a noble cause. And during World War II and the liberation of France, you have recalled how much Don Couteau displayed these three concepts in a most commendable way. His biography is enlightening. His bravery is so commendable. His life and his military career prove that knight is a rank to which he was entitled. Ladies and gentlemen, today, alas, posthumously, in the name of the French people, in the name of the President of the French Republic, I thank Don Couto for his personal contribution towards the liberation of France and I recognize him as a true hero of the to whom France is forever indebted. Vive la France! Vive les États-Unis d'Amérique! Long live Europe at peace! Long live the friendship between France, Europe, and the United States of America! Thank you. Donna Couto, au nom du président de la République, je vous remets les insignes de chevalier dans l'ordre national de la Légion d'honneur de votre père, Don Couto. Yeah. I was not going to speak <laughs> and was in the traditional way of our elders going to let a man, my husband Joe Cross, a Marine Corps Vietnam veteran, speak for me. And, but he will speak for my mother. Um, so this will be brief. From my heart, I say, Ho Nikene, hello friends. I am Meonime Donna Couteau, citizen of the Sac and Fox Nation and Thunder Clan, daughter of Katope. Don J. Couteau, a World War II veteran and a Sac and Fox veteran. We are here to receive on his behalf the French Legion of Honor Medal for his top secret service during the war. It is my wish to give my father's medals to the Sac and Fox people, particularly to share them with our veterans, the Honor Guard here who knew my father they know what it means to serve. They were there. My father could not and would not speak of his service, only that, quote, war is not a movie. It is not what you think it is, end quote. War can injure individuals and their families. It is my belief we, as human beings, should evolve away from violence to turn our minds to peaceful ways and not to war. Humanity is one family. All life is equal. The creation was made so. 
We must treat the land well. We must treat one another well. Many thanks, and I want to acknowledge the permission from the Walker family um, and to give our condolences to all of them for allowing us to go forward today. We're thinking of them and praying for them. I want to acknowledge all who came here and made this gathering possible. You know who you are, and you are much appreciated, especially Dennis Jennings. Thank you so much, Dennis. And um, at this time, I believe Joe is going to speak. As Donna's husband, uh, I am Joe Cross, a member of the Caddo Nation of Oklahoma and also um, citizen band Potawatomi. I read for Donna's mother, Mrs. Linnell Couteau, on behalf of her children, Donna, Chris, Mark. We wish to thank the government of France for recognizing my late husband and the children's father for helping free your country during World War II. We are honored to be Don Couteau's association, or we are honored with Don Couteau's association with the carpetbaggers, and now with recognition from your country. My husband was a Sack and Fox, and we thank the Sack and Fox Nation for hosting this event. Also, he was scheduled to get the Norway Cross until he passed, you have to be alive. And we will pursue his Congressional Gold Medal in the future. We would like to call Dennis Jennings um, to present the shadow box that I have made to our veterans. This fellow's name is on our flag. He's a descendant of Black Hawk. Look at that message. This is presented to the family for the veterans to place in their new home. All right, uh, we'd like to thank the family for uh, making your way over here to uh, witness this beautiful occasion. Yeah, how about a round of applause for the Kuto family? Thank you. And we also want to say thank you, Alexis Andres, Consul General of France and our dignitaries that uh, made their way over here as well. Thank you to all of our veterans and our Sack and Fox people. At this time, uh, that'll conclude 
what we're going to do here at the memorial. We want to invite each and every one of you over to our community building. We have a lunch uh, prepared for each and every one of you. And uh, we have a slideshow that we want to show you. And so we'll meet you over at the community building. Oh, hey, thank you.